Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Chevy Cruze, guys, and doesn't matter which engine you have, and you get any of the following two codes, P2122 or P2127, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain how to fix these codes, what causes these codes, and uh, uh, what needs to be replaced in order to make your car run like brand new again. Now, quick introduction to the channel guys, as you know, we will have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and every car we get at the shop. This is because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video, hopefully guys you will find the information helpful and it will guide you in the right direction to fix your vehicle. So this Chevy Cruze now guys, okay, uh, when we started, the car says... Uh, uh, warning message that there is a problem, decreased power, uh, the throttle may not feel responsive or it may not work at all and we'll explain what causes that now. Okay, let me go ahead and start and just to show you okay, what happens first, but let me get the scanner as well so we can connect it at the same time. Okay, and I'll explain to you guys how to fix that problem. So this is the scanner guys, all the tools and parts that we use in our videos. We will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience, so please check it out guys. So the scanner is connected, okay, perfect, we are ready there. Now, I'm going to go inside and I'll start the car. Okay, and you can see it says engine power is reduced. Okay, let me turn the light off so you can see a little bit better, engine power reduced. Even if I pump the gas pedal, nothing happens guys, nothing. So that doesn't feel responsive at all. Now I'll turn the ignition off, turn it back on. So now with that scanner, we're going to scan the system and we're going to see what's wrong with it. You can do so many things guys with that scanner and not just on Chevy Cruze, on pretty much any car that has OBD2 connection, which means cars past 1996. You can guys read codes from the engine computer, ABS and traction control computer and airbag computers as well. As well. You can register batteries, you can do injector programming, steering angle sen sensor, uh, uh, calibration, TPMS reset, quite a few things guys, very helpful scanner. This thing can pay itself off in one time use, so I'll definitely recommend it and we'll have the link in the description of the video below. Not very many scanners can read ABS and traction control computers which are very important nowadays because once in a while you will need it guys so codes found two okay and now we have three different computer modules so check each one of them guys you can check the codes in each one of them you may have some extra codes usually ours is the one that ends in a8 that's the one that we have the codes we click read codes we're going to check stored codes now and we have code P2122 and P2127. If I go back, I'll click pending codes and make sure that we don't have an extra code that hasn't been sent to the hard memory of the computer. And nope, still the same. Throttle pedal position sensor, guys. Switch D and switch E. So I'll go ahead, turn the car off. Okay, and I'll explain what needs to be done in order to fix that. Now, in order, guys, to get rid of that code, okay, you need to go ahead and replace your throttle pedal, guys. So in order to fix that problem guys, you need to go ahead, remove your throttle pedal and replace it or check the connection guys, one of the two. So this is guys, the throttle pedal right there, not very complicated. We have the video on the channel that explains how to, fin uh, how to replace it, how to remove it. It takes only a couple of minutes. If you need to buy the parts guys, we have the link in the description of the video below. Please check it out. That's for your convenience and see where we bought our pedal from. So now we'll go ahead and replace ours and see if that fixes the problem. The purpose of today's video is to see if that will take care of the problem. And if you want to see the replacement, again, the video will be on the channel. So let's continue now. Okay, ignition is on guys. Okay, I'll go back now. Okay, let me go back. And we're going to click erase codes, yes. Erase down. So if I turn the car off and restart it, engine light shouldn't be on. Okay, and the only warning message is to it open. We don't have anything else. And the car is responsive. Okay, and you can see it, it revs up pretty easy now. So definitely guys, that took care of our problem. Hopefully that will be the problem with your car. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.